Steve, it does really seem like the saber rattling has been amplified lately. What do we know? Well, absolutely, it's been amplified lately because you had Joe Biden in the region just a couple of weeks ago and you had that meeting of the Quad. Uh, and again, you know, there's always these uh, potential standoffs with the Chinese in the South China Sea. I have more on that in just a bit. But what I do know about uh, the tests over the weekend, first of all, North Korea conducted eight missile tests, bringing their total uh, to 31, which is a record uh, for for any year. In fact, the previous record in a single year was 24 tests, so they surpassed that now with eight uh, ballistic short-range ballistic missile tests uh, within 35 minutes of each other on Sunday morning, firing from four different locations uh, in North Korea into the sea off the East Coast. Japan says it did not land in their territorial waters. It landed, they landed in international waters. Uh, but then again, we're also hearing from Yonhap News Agency that the South Koreans and the the Americans jointly tested their own eight uh, missile tests this morning, ground-to-ground -ground tactical missiles at about 4.45 this morning, Monday morning, for about 10 minutes, uh, I assume in retaliation. as a, They were test firing, of course, uh, but in retaliation for those eight tests by the North Koreans. Uh, we're also hearing from both U.N. and U.S. security experts that is believed that uh, the North is preparing a potential a nuclear test at some point as well. So definitely tensions being ratcheted up uh, right now uh, at a time when uh, North Korea perhaps is emboldened by the fact that China and Russia perhaps at this moment in time would not uh, you know, stand in support of any new UN Security Council uh, sanctions. Mm. Stephen, you mentioned that standoff over the South China Sea. What was that about? Yes, yeah, so the, uh, the Australian Royal um, Air Force is uh, saying that a P-8, which is an American uh, Poseidon uh, surveillance aircraft back on May 26, uh, was uh, reportedly intercepted over the South China Sea uh, by a J-16 Chinese uh, fighter jet. Uh, and the Australian uh, Navy essentially, or Air Force essentially says that the Chinese uh, uh, fighter jet conducted a fairly dangerous maneuver, pulling up alongside uh, the P-8 surveillance plane and then doing another maneuver to cut in front. So essentially intercepting uh, over international waters in the South China, over the South China Sea. So again, it's another incident of uh, perhaps provocation, at least what the Australians say that the Chinese did. This comes a couple of weeks after we heard uh, the Canadian Air Force also uh, had a few of its uh, surveillance aircraft over the East uh, Sea, the East China Sea, intercepted by Chinese uh, fighter jets as well when those Canadian aircraft uh, were there uh, un under the, you know, to protect the UN sanctions against uh, North Korea, against North Korea. So, yes, there's more tensions right now at a heightened sensitive time.